with too much cash. Watch how I came up fast. They say I'm next to get it. They bring your name up last. And while I made a splash, rappers came and passed. But still, I ask myself, how long does famous last? Yeah, but I ain't worried about it tonight. How long does famous last? Flipping any videos, it's your boy Lion Salt. We're back at it with. Our local to global series on TW 2016. And tonight, in front of 128 expected fans, let's see how many we actually get. We are for WPW presents Battle Line. Now, I'm on this thing on this screen because I don't want to give anybody uh, some spoilers that we got going on or anything. So we're just gonna jump right into it, and we're gonna run the show, and let's see what's gonna go on. And in a 41D, we see Jay Briscoe arrive into the arena. Because tonight, he goes one-on-one -on -one with JT Dunn in a St. Louis street fight for the WPW Heavyweight Championship. And then in a 46D, about the good heat and, and decent wrestling, Mark Briscoe defeats Sammy Guevara in 14 minutes by submission with a power supply. Sammy's getting a lot better, and he was off his game, too. And Mark Briscoe had a 45. A 54, excuse me. What's the chance? Uh, you want to change it? Uh, low average or whatever. There's a lot of gimmicks that I need to change. Anybody improving? No improvements. Nothing. A good match. And then in a 44D, and about that good heat and decent wrestling, War Machine defeats the King of Sleaze in 9 minutes when Hanson defeats Brent Robinson by pinfall. And Hanson was better than everyone with a 52. You know, we got two 40s in back to back, and I remember getting zero. I got a zero on my second show, third show, a zero. Not. Not, oh, an F, not a 13, a zero, a straight zero. So this is, this is getting better. Anybody improving here? No improvements. We got 111 people. And then, in a 48D plus, TKL Ryan is sitting backstage in the locker room. Michael Bennett and Maria Canella show up. And that says, so where is he? Is he not caring enough for you to show up for you? Probably don't even want to be associated with this loser anymore, pipes in Maria. And the locker room door opens and it comes Matt Taven. Taven then looks at everyone in the locker room in the room and goes on to say, You know it's funny. He has to come here to fix a problem, but there isn't just one problem here. TK, the right. You haven't been li living up to the kingdom's level. But you know, Mike, this kid stepped up and you decided you were too good for us. You and Adam both ran away. This kid Stood up and took the mantle for the kingdom. And now everything is going south for you and you want back in? You know what? How about tonight you two go one on one and I'll give you my decision next at the next show. Taven walks out of the room while Maria and Bennett start laughing. So, everything's been going south for Mike Bennett and Maria. No longer Impact Wrestling, not in ROH, not in New Japan. Um, indie, lo local indie shows. And now they want back into the kingdom, which they feel that they started. And Matt Taven picked it up. TKO Ryan picked it up. And now Bennett wants back in. No improvements or anything, but yeah. And then in a 36D minus, and kind of down a great one of 36D minus is our worst so far. A decent match. Matt Riddle defeats Leo Rush in 14 minutes by submission with the Bro Mission. They don't click. Alright, they don't click. I don't remember that. Anyone improving? No improvement, sorry. And then, oh, this is going to be the worst. And JT doesn't show him backstage. I see that out low time. One of the hype up tonight's main event. Then in the 34E, yeah, the women are going to be bad, but. I'm gonna keep the decent match. Rachel Ellering, Beta Scott, and Nixon Newell defeat the She Click. Dominique Fabiano, Britt Baker, and Taylor Hendricks in ten and a half minutes when Nixon Newell defeats Dominique Fabiano. A pinfall with a Welsh Destroyer. 
who had the best? Nixon knew all the best with the 35, and then it was Ada Scott, and then everyone else was in the 20s. What are the Oh, no. Anyone improving? No improvements tonight. I think I need a better road agent. But, in a 67C+, plus, it's based on their sex appeal. After the match, all six women are right in the ring facing off each other when Brian Thatcher comes out with a mic in hand and says, Ladies, ladies, calm down. Calm down. You know what? Y'all made an impression not only on me, all the fans who come out and watch these shows and the ones who watch on YouTube, because we put up a poll to see which title belt would be introduced at the next show, and by a landslide, the fans want to see a WP. W Women's Championship. And all six women in the ring smile upon hearing the news and they just start, you know, saying, I'm going to be the first. I'm going to be the first. It's going to be mine. Thatcher goes on to say, so what our next show would be a seven women ladder match for the first ever WPW Women's Championship. And I know what you're all thinking. There's only six of you in the ring. So how could it be seven? But that's because the final woman is WPW's newest signee, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Danielle Monet, formerly Summer Rae of the WWE. Summer Rae is in WPW. Comes off looking good. There's more to this. She then comes out and stares at everyone before shaking Brian Thatcher's hand and doing the whole belt around the waist with your hands gimmick. And that's how that ends. Is Next month, if we have the money, or the mo month later, with your pants, we're getting more expensive. It's going to be these seven women in a ladder match for the WPW Women's Championship. Yes. And then in a 41D, about that good heat and decent wrestling, Mike Bennett defeats TK Ryan in 6 minutes 45 seconds with a pile driver after me. Maria Canellis distracts TKL Ryan. So, Maria Canellis did good work at ringside. Then it had a 47, and TKL Ryan had a 21. TKL Ryan is improving, like what I see there. And then in a 45D, we just have a small video package showing the next match between JT Dunn and Jay Crystal and what led to it. And the uh, best match ever in a 50D plus about the great heat based wrestling. JT Dunn defeats Jay Briscoe in a street fight in 23 minutes after by pinfall after being turned on by Mark Briscoe. Mark Briscoe ran in and attacked Jay Briscoe and allows JT Dunn to defend, make defense number four of his WPW heavyweight title. Mark, Jay Briscoe had a 58 and JT Dunn had a 34 and Jay Briscoe is getting even better. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem like that. And then a 39 D minus. Mark Briscoe then pulls JT Dunn off. Jay Briscoe throws him out of the ring. Grabs a mic and stands over Jay. See, brother, who brought me here to protect you, to help you, to save you. They don't want me. The people don't want me. They want you. It's always about you. Well, brother, it's about time. It's about me. And Mark picks up Jay, who looks into his eyes and spits in his face. And Jay, and Mark just smiles and hits him with a pile driver into a set of chairs. And that, and stands over him to end the show. What a match at 51D plus and it made it increased our show popularity in 45 regions. And we gotta give it to Jay Briscoe. Um, so they're awesome. Hanson is doing great again. Praise on a great performance. And our newest signee. Pointing out is a good example. She went out there first night. Please, please. And seem pleased. And now, because our last show was about 20, our last episode was about 20 minutes long, I'm gonna cut it right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
like, comment, subscribe, and I want to thank you for everything that you guys are doing. Because I'm, I'm getting a little, a little fan base, man. I got seven subscribers, which isn't much to most people, but for a TW YouTuber, that's a lot. Let's be honest. And I'm getting about 50, 10 to 15 uh, views a week on a video, which I feel for someone who's starting out and has jumped from series to series, I've only been doing this for about a couple, for about three, four months. So just want to say thank you. God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.